This is Linda Grace Cox with msrelief.com and I'm here for my seventh stem cell treatment and like always Dr. Balshi is willing to answer my questions so that you can hear the answers. So my mom is recording for us and I just want to tell you and Dr. Balshi about my last MRI results. I got my results back and the comparison from last a year ago to just last, last November all of the white spots were gone off my spine and, wow. and neck, neck and spine. And I do have an active lesion still in, um, in the back area that is directly influencing my ability to stand up straight. Okay. And so, so even just sitting or standing, I can't, I have a hard time even just keeping my shoulders back. And so the question is I have for you, is there any way for you to, um, okay, I remember from the last time you said that you give me a drug that weakens the blood-brain barrier and then when the stem cell activated um, um, mixture. mixture goes back into my veins, it goes right up into my brain and um, heals and duplicates and replicates and takes care of the damaged areas. Is there any way that you'll be able to get the area that goes right to this affecting my brain? Well, we can't directly put a needle in, into your brain, but we can do the same thing. We can direct the stem cells to through the blood-brain barrier to bathe the entire brain. Because anywhere that blood flows, stem cells will go. Okay, okay, so this treatment, number seven, might possibly help that area of my brain that is. Absolutely, anything's possible, and as you have seen from your MRI, the other lesions that were previously active have been healed. Yes, and and there are no new lesions. Beautiful. That's right. Okay, so then the questions that have come up over the last six months, um, I have a friend who his her grandson was born with uh, leukemia, and she's wondering if this type of stem cell treatment is something that you would do for babies. This particular, the, the thing that we do for you is different than the way a leukemic patient will be treated. Um, stem cells are still used, but with leukemia, because it's a cancer that grows, typically you have to eradicate the bone marrow, which is where the tumor really is, and then replace the bone marrow with healthy stem cells and let it regrow. So it's a little bit more complicated um, okay. Typically, it involves an overnight stay in a hospital, um, but that would be directed by a pediatric okay. oncologist, usually. Okay, so this type of stem cell treatment isn't what a cancer... Well, the stem cells are the same, that part's the same, but I don't do chemotherapy. I see. So, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Then, um, what other, besides MS, what other ailments are, have you seen positive effects for? Okay, so stem cells can help a, an array of different conditions. The ones that seem to work the best um, with adult fat-derived are things that are neurologic, like MS, like Parkinson's, um, and there's several other autoimmune conditions. Um, Lots of people have seen really nice results after a stroke, um, where there's an area of the brain that just needs to be repaired and recovered. Um, and there's all kinds of different forms of stroke, um, like from car accidents or if there's a bleed in the brain. But all of those have shown to have improvement. Um, and then autoimmune conditions in general, like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, fibromyalgia, is Parkinson's an autoimmune thing? No, nobody really knows. We know what's happening, but not sure why exactly it's happening. Okay. No. Okay. And then, um, are you doing any research? Are you documenting things? Yes, this is all documented. It's not experimental. We are, we are recording results as proof of effectiveness. Um, because a lot of people experience symptom improvement, like you can get up and walk without a walker, um, which is you know obvious for you and I to see, but to measure that, um, you know, you really need some proof, like an MRI, to see lesions disappearing, or strength tests. 
So we are slowly recording and documenting okay. evidence so that hopefully someday this becomes the standard of care. Yes, I thank you so much because in reality, this has been, this, like I said, every six months, this is the seventh time I've come and I have felt such benefits. Thank you.